Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. We're going to go ahead and get an energy update for you. We're going to see what's happening around you. This is going to be a love reading, so we're going to tap in to your energy, starting off with my romance angels. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to be here and to be doing this tarot reading for you guys. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let's see what you need to hear right now. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. What else do I need to know about the connection between Aries and their person? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so there's certainly some sort of situation happening between you and your person of interest. Okay, I feel like things are going to get better in between you two. It almost feels like maybe you guys went through an argument or some sort of situation. Let's see. Or some sort of breakup even. So you're being asked by the universe to just let go of control issues. See how perfectly that just fell out? The magician. Oh my god. And the nine of swords. So you could be worried about the situation. You could be overthinking. Maybe having sleepless nights with the magician card here. I feel like you have the power um, to change this if you really wanted to. The Magician card is a very powerful card. It's actually one of my favorites in the deck. Because it talks about basically having everything you need anyways. So realistically, you're not missing out on anything with this person. But if you really wanted to, um, you could just let go of the situation by like not overthinking. Let's see. But you're creating a lot right now. You're very powerful when it comes to your creativity. I really love this. That it's come out for you because I feel like when it comes to your work situations um, things are getting better or or there's a lot of things happening um, for you um, a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming up within this next week as well so I feel like that's a strong area in your life your work your career your business so that could be something that you can be, maybe stay focused on instead of love if love is something that basically um, right now is not working out if that even makes sense <laughs> So let's go ahead and see your person of interest. So they're definitely weighing out their options. Um, I feel like they're kind of on the same page as you. Let's see. Aries person. Show me Aries person. I feel like your energy is really beautiful aside from this love situation that you could be stressing out about. Or you could be stressed out about some work situation as well. But I feel like you're going to figure things out very easily. Um, so your person right now is practicing self-care and they're focused on basically um, taking care of themselves. But they are thinking about you and you're still on this person's mind. And they're wondering if things played out the way they should have, like correctly yeah so they really really what they want to say is i feel like they want to apologize but it's like they're waiting for the right time they feel like it might not be time yet but it's almost time to basically come forward but it's like they're one step in one step out it's like they make plans to do something to reach out to you or to talk to you and then they kind of back out so that's the kind of wishy-washy energy I'm picking up from them. Um, they, even though they could be the one, it doesn't mean that they are. And it doesn't mean that they have to be. And the power is in your hands. So it's going to be completely up to you. See how you got the seven of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. This is like the step towards the nine of pentacles. So I feel like... Um, release let go and let god and i feel like everything's gonna work out as it should when it comes to this relationship this partnership um right in the right in between your guys' relationship is going to be the ace of wands which talks about a new opportunity so there's definitely going to be a new opportunity coming for you guys all right when it comes to work career creativity especially i feel like you guys are very creative that um, creative chakra is really shining right now and this is a great time to take advantage and to maybe write some songs write some poems um, get creative when it comes to your job your career your business write write down some new ideas if it is that um, you have some um, maybe working with your feelings to come up with something new you know based off of what you've been through in your love situations i just saw number 444 you guys could have been through a lot in love and you guys can use that as a weapon to basically create something very beautiful that you can share with the world so um let me see i'm just trying to readjust this 
<laughs> so it can be kind of centered. I feel like it's not centered. But um, let's go ahead and pull out some oracle cards for you guys. So this is a new spread I'm doing for you. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, it just kind of came to me naturally. So I'm going to set this right here. Actually, I don't want this whole deck right here. <laughs> I'll set this card here. And then I'll try to fit some more oracle cards in here. I know my space isn't too big. I can make it bigger. But I feel like the quality wouldn't be as good. I have another candle burning over here, which is smells so lovely. Anyways, let's get, let's stay focused here. So let's see what signs you could be dealing with. I love to pull these cards out. You can also give us a little bit more information on what's happening. But I mainly like to use these cards just for signs, but how six has come up. So this is establishing a foundation, health, daily life, practical details. I feel like that's a message for you. Um, saying to stay focused on on the details of your life, basically like this. Um, staying focused on your career, your daily life, your self-care, your your basically your routine, your everyday routine will help you get over a certain situation. If it is that, you know, this love situation has has basically took a toll on your life in some type of way. Okay, so let's put that there. We'll get one more. Conjunction, wow. So this person wants a reunion. So your person, you got a union merging coming together. So they're definitely going to be, re I feel like you guys are going to be getting back together if it is that you guys are broken up right now or not talking or something's happening your connection you got taurus back of the deck energy trust patience and sensuality and then you got yourself so i feel like just you should trust the process of what's happening because i feel like you already know okay you're very intuitive the magician is someone who is intuitive as well right they work with their intuition and with basically all the tools that they have and you seem to be very skilled very good at something um like like i said this could be career wise but this can also be at using your intuition with the sun card here you could be dealing with a, a leo you could be dealing with a taurus you could be dealing with a virgo so let's see What's going to happen in this connection? What's going to happen in this connection? Or what's coming up for Aries? It doesn't have to be just this connection. It can just be something that's coming up for you. What's coming up for you, Aries? Did I say Taurus? I hope I didn't. What's coming up for you, Aries? Wow. Love. <laughs> So love, so you got it, babe. Like, I feel like there is a lot of love in between you and this person. I feel like love is gonna outweigh anything, any problems, any obstacles that you guys may have um, gone through, but you just gotta let go of control issues. And that's why you got this new passionate beginning in between you and this person. There is a lot of love, not just passion. So it's really beautiful, to be honest. Um, but I feel like right now, focusing on your career is gonna be of most, most important, especially this week, because you may have a lot going on. You may have and, and they have a lot going on themselves as well. So it's just all about perfect timing. There will be this reunion, this conjunction. <laughs> Divination, like I said, you're very, very intuitive. You're very, um, you're very psychic too. You could be tarot readers or you could just be intuitive when it comes to this relationship. Like maybe that's why you're being told like not to worry because you already know like something deep inside you tells you that there's going to be a reunion and that everything's going to be okay when it comes to this relationship this partnership as far as money and career goes everything looks really really good for you i feel like that's going to be a strong point this week so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this reading i'm gonna go ahead and finish off with some sparks of romance for you these can be used in any which way, okay? Romance isn't just for another person. It's for you as well. Go on a road trip, planned or spontaneous. I love that. 
Maybe that's something you're doing too. You could be traveling. Traveling for work. Try exercising together. This can just be a message for you. It doesn't have to be both of you guys. Or that could be something you do when you get back with this person. If it is that they're not in your life. Rendezvous at a restaurant and pretend you're meeting for the first time. You could be meeting this person at a restaurant for the first time. Or there could be a new person in your life as well. It doesn't have to be this person that I picked up on. But it could be a whole new person. Pick each other's outfits for the day. I love that too. And this could be just for you to like pick your outfits out beforehand. Like to keep you distracted from any other situation that may have you feeling down and out. Like pick your outfits out before. Plan your outfits out. Um, yeah. Did my camera move? I feel like it did. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of these. Oh, I just saw 1111. So, oh, you guys got a self-care one. So the self-care card you got is Betrayal, Envy, Jelly, Hater. If you can have a hater around you, if you do... Doing yoga, listening to live music, going for karaoke with some friends, or listening to a podcast can help. You may be noticing number 7777 around, okay? I realize I'm in love. Secret feelings. So maybe some of you guys have a secret admirer around you that you work with or that you're going to work with. I want to get to know you. So this person definitely wants to get to know you. Okay, like I said, this can be a whole new person for you guys. And this could be the one. So you guys could be meeting someone um, brand new. And then when you guys meet this person, that's when your old person tries to come back in or something like that. That's the energy I'm picking up on. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I hope you guys liked it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.